Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, welcome. I'm going to show you how to connect any of these types of speakers to your DVD players. And trust me, you're going to have a much better movie experience. Now, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. This is, after all, for beginners. Now, I want to make sure we're starting off on the same page. So, just want to tell you, these are instructions for DVD players with RCA cables, all right? Keep a steady watching right here if your speakers look like any of the ones on the left hand side. If they look more like the ones on the right, you can jump over to this part of the video. Let's start off with connecting your active speakers via RCA. Okay, now I hate to do this, but I'm going to assume that you already have your RCA cables connected to the back of your DVD player. If not, go ahead and match up the colors as seen here. Now the back of your TV, that's where we're going to change things up. Keep that yellow cable plugged in so your TV can keep getting that video signal. What we want are just the red and white cables, which is the audio. So we're going to take them away from our TV and pull them from the yellow cable so they can reach our speaker. Don't worry, you're not going to tear anything. These are typically made to be pulled like this. As a matter of fact, I completely separated my set. See, no problem. Now, if your speaker doesn't have RCA ports, no worries, neither does mine. All you'll need is one of these splitter cables that we see here in the diagram. It has an RCA plug for your speaker's aux ports and left and right audio ports for your DVD's RCA plugs. So now, instead of your TV receiving the audio signals, it's your external speakers that are going to be receiving the audio, which are most definitely going to sound richer and fuller than your TV speakers, which are forced to be super thin. I mean, naturally, a box with more physical volume is going to contain a bigger speaker. And just look at how thin TVs are nowadays. Okay, so to wrap up the instructions for these speakers, don't worry about having to do anything with the TV or DVD audio settings. The sound will automatically play out of your speaker, just turn it on. Okay, now we can begin with our good old passive speakers. Speakers that require a connection to an amplifier with this type of wire. This is what yours may look like. But okay, moving on to your DVD player. Now I hate to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that your DVD player is already hooked up. Not only that, but also to your TV. If not, go ahead and match up the colors as seen here. Now the back of your TV, that's where we're going to change things up. Keep that yellow cable plugged in so your TV can keep getting that video signal. Now, in case you didn't know this, the yellow cable is for video and the other two are for left and right audio, which is what we want to go ahead and redirect over to our sound system. So we unplug them from the TV and literally pull them away so they can reach our stereo system. And no worries, these are practically made for pulling apart. So down here below are our audio cables ready to send sound to a different speaker system from our DVD player. A stereo system being an amplifier, a receiver, or even a stereo deck like this. Here's mine, it's a mini amplifier. We can plug into any of the RCA ports as long as they don't say REC out. Now we just turn on our amp and change it to the channel we plugged into. I plugged into CD, so that's what I'm changing it to. And just like that, I'm ready to play my movies and have a much better experience. Speaking of a better experience, have you thought about a subwoofer? If you're curious about it, I already made this video to kind of introduce you to them. Yep, find the link right up here. I know this stuff can be a bit confusing at times, so I've made some videos to help you get grounded on some audio basics. So go ahead and have a look around. And if you're also interested in solutions for videos such as TV connections and more, have a look at my other channel called Simple Cafe Vision. Link in the description. All right, I'll see you on the next one and here's to your success. Cheers.